Coming up on the Cowboys report, does Mike McCarthy need to give up the play calling for this Cowboys offense? The Texas coast has not been a good offensive scheme for this Cowboys team. We'll break down some of the issues. We'll, we'll break down why you have to at least consider it, even if the solution might not be a very viable one here on today's show. The offensive stats this year. Yeah, you're eight the points per game, right? Yeah, yeah the defense kind of helped that number out a little bit there. You've been a garbage red zone team. What you can use to kind of focus in purely on the offense, yards per game, EPA per play, success rate. Now, your yards are a little bit lower because you haven't had as many drives, but EPA success rate, they are, they are rate plays. 12th in EPA per play, 13th in success rate. Well, that's not exactly what you're necessarily going for overall. That's, that's a bit of a downgrade. That is less than what the Cowboys were doing last year when they were more of a top 10 offense in almost every metric. They had the fourth most points per game. They were number one in red zone offense. Everything has kind of gotten worse this year. That's really troubling for a, a Cowboys team that has talent, that has ability, and they've gotten worse. The offense is not as good as what it was last year. And look, this is a bit reactionary because we're coming off a terrible game against the, the 49ers. And if your response is, well, they were bad against the Niners previously, yes. Yes, they were bad against the 49ers. But this was the exact type of game that led to Mike McCarthy taking away the duties from Kellen Moore. Remember, Mike said, Kellen, get out of here. That's what happened. And the result of, hey, you weren't good enough last time, let's be better with Mike, is you got worse. You have to at least think about, consider, contemplate, making some changes here if you are the Cowboys. Now, it probably does not happen this week, right? You're not going to do it going from center money football. It's not great timing. You have the bye next week. And if your offense cannot get it figured out against a terrible Chargers team on defense, or a bad defensive team, I have my doubts about whether or not it's ever going to happen. Prove it is not, it's not an overarching thing, and it's a, it was a one-off, right, or a two-off against the Cardinals when your line was bad. Prove, it, prove it's not a systematic issue, because I'm unconvinced that it's not. So do you want to, Mike McCarthy to continue to call the plays on offense? This is today's pinned comment, so if the ad here comes on YouTube, that's fine. Take advantage. Head down there. Y for yes, N for no. One of your big tangible changes on offense, and you've all pointed out in the comments over the last few weeks, is they're not going downfield. And the numbers backed up. It's not just your eyes lying to you. This is how it works. The average depth of target for Dak Prescott this year is 6.6. It was 8.3 last year. 8.0, 8.0, 9.4, which that number was kind of adjusted because you were just chucking it because your defense was bad all year, you know. 2018, you're, you, when your offensive line was bad, 7 Point six. That is bad. You, you are down over a full yard per attempt this year. So why? Why are the short passes so many more? There's three, you know, maybe realistic answers here. Number one, your offensive line was banged up at the beginning of the year. It's probably a fair argument to make, although it wasn't against the 49ers. Oh, the head coach does not trust Dak Prescott. Can't rule it out, except for this part. And I think it's mostly this one this is just the offense I think it is mostly you can make arguments elsewhere but it is mostly the offense this is what Mike McCarthy did with Aaron Rodgers the offense was very similar you can go back and look, and look at the, the next gen stats passing charts it's short stuff it is short horizontal quick passes get the ball out slant flat or you know bubble screens slant swings to your backs like that was the offense under Mike McCarthy with Aaron Rodgers. They did not attack the middle of the field. The Cowboys aren't attacking the middle of the field right now. Do you know what quarterback attacked the middle of the field least in 2017 and 2018? Aaron Rodgers. That is the offense. They will not go down the middle, and I don't think that works in the modern-day NFL. I, I, I think it's a real problem. They have got to get figured out, and it's a systematic scheme issue for this Cowboys team. More on this, of course, still to come, but the busy fall season, season is very much in swing. So you might be looking for some wholesome, convenient meals with jam-packed days. Factor, 
America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit is here to deliver just that. You can fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You will save time, eat well, and stay on track with your health lifestyle. Do not do what I used to do. Now, you're getting home late from work. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You're going to stop for a burger. That's good, but it's bad for you. So eat good food that's also good for you from Factor Meals. The loaded bacon shredded chicken, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. Head to factormeals.com slash cowboyschat50 and use code cowboyschat50 to get 50% off. That's code cowboyschat50 at factormeals.com slash cowboyschat50 to get that 50% off. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. I want to make this, I kind of mentioned earlier, like the Roger stuff. Isn't it, and this is maybe some hindsight, sure, but isn't it kind of worrisome that right after Mike McCarthy leaves Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers wins two MVPs? Like, doesn't that raise some red flags for us of like, hmm, that was a tangible change, and now these win on MVPs, and your offense was better the previous three years, and now you have a new head coach and new play guard. Hmm, now the offense is bad. This offense is too cowardly. It, it, it is short shit. It is left and right. It is horizontal. And I don't think you have the alpha male borderline too much so quarterback personality in Dak Prescott to overrule Mike like Aaron Rodgers would. I mean, you've seen Rodgers, right, in games like, look to the sidelines and kind of be like feisty with his coach of like that play call wasn't going to work, but I didn't overrule it. I wanted to prove points to you. Like, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, by the way. But, you know, if you're, if, if quarterback's just not going to call his own plays, and if, by the way, if the solution is to have your quarterback call his own plays every time, you, you, you need a new play caller. That's, that's not a good thing to have either there. And Dak's too much of the good soldier guy to, to go about, you know, doing it the wrong way to get the right results, for lack of a better phrase. We will have more Cowboys coverage for you, win or lose, right here on the Cowboys Report. Hit that sub button for more free videos. Where has been the biggest change in the offensive results? The EPA per play on non-play action stuff. So your standard dropbacks when, for the most part, it's an obvious pass. Not always, but it's an obvious passing down because teams love play action RPO stuff. The same. It has not changed. Play action has been a massive drop-off. Almost identical back in 2022. That's where Dak tends to be at his best when he can read the defense, figure it out, get the ball out quickly, do his middle-of-the-field attacking stuff. You saw it for the most part against like the Jets, too. He played really well in that game. But saw it in the past. This year on play action, massive cliff. And you know what play action is? That's scheme stuff. When you're hitting play action, you're not dropping back and then reading your defense with, with your three reads. You're, you're doing boot stuff. You're getting one, two reads in there. That's it. It is schemed. Play action is supposed to make life easier on your quarterback. And much like it was in Green Bay, the play action is down. That is why I'm so concerned. Because all of the issues that Mike McCarthy ran into in Green Bay that eventually got him fired, you are running into now. And this time, you don't have a Hall of Fame quarterback to help bail you out. All right, some changes needed here. Number one, you have to hit some easy buttons that aren't just the swing pass to Tony Pollard. We, you know, the, 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 the Pete Garrett era, what, what was your go-to play? was the Y option, right? Kel, Kellen Moore era, what was your go-to play? was the comeback route, not a good go-to play. Mike McCarthy era, what is your go-to play? Is it slant flats? I think that's kind of what it's supposed to be or some combination of slants. But there is no, like, all of the great coordinators, play callers, they have an easy button of, like, I'm going to hit this button, boom, wide open play. How many times did the Niners call the easy pass play? How many times did the Cowboys call it? Exactly. Number two, you have to be more aggressive. And this, this ties into to note number three, so we'll go ahead and go to that one too here. Note number three is you have to avoid some third downs. The Cowboys offense, and they've done it successfully up until the 49ers game, has been long, sustained drives. Your quarterback on the money downs entering San Francisco was the best third down quarterback right behind Brock Purdy. 
Well, he wasn't the best third down quarterback because it is very tough to live on third downs only. And that's what this team has done. They have been, we're going to get into third and four and see if our quarterback makes the, the play. It's fine. He does a really good job of it. But you can't live that way every game. You can win a bunch of games that way when you have a good quarterback. But you can't live there necessarily. You need some explosive plays. You got one to Kevontae Turpin. Great. You, you, you need to attack the middle of the field because if you don't do it, teams are going to say, you know what, it's wide open. They're not even putting routes in there. Like, that just makes it hard. You're not using the full field. You have to be more aggressive. If that leads to two or more interceptions, I don't care as long as you get the points to override that. Like, I, I don't want to have my quarterback be 24 touchdown passes, 10 interceptions. I'd rather him be 33 and 15. 33 and 14. Give me the points. I, I just, that's just overthinking it. And to be clear, it's not just Mike McCarthy's fault. You have to execute better. You have to hit your holes properly on the ground. Your quarterback cannot make dumb throws and make interceptions. You can't throw passes that are dropped and or picked off. You can't have passes dropped in the end zone. You have to execute better too. But I don't think this coaching staff has done a good enough job of getting your players in a position to have success. So what is your confidence level? in the Dallas Cowboys offense. Scale it for me from one to 10. One on the low end, 10 on the high end. Go vote for me in the comments section. All right, Brian Schottenheimer is next up here. No, we misspelled the name, that's okay. Uh, he would be, the, be the, the next man up as the Cowboys play car. There's, there's nobody else that would be the obvious, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be our guy. No, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be shoddy. And to be quite honest, I... I, I that's the only option you have. I also don't know if that's the, the answer. Or at least like the long-term answer. Like Schottenheimer's results have been middling over the course of his, of his career. Like, okay. He's been an offensive coordinator three different times before this stop, by the way. He was in Seattle with then the good Russell Wilson. It's number six in EPA per play. That's really good. Was with the Rams too, and they were bottom six in EPA per play. You know, sometimes it's just a quarterback stat. It's an offensive stat. Uh, no data, by the way, for the Jets, unfortunately, but that team wasn't very good either, so he likes to run the ball too. He's been better at play action over the course of his career, but you, you can change only so much midseason. Now, if you do make a change, the bye is next week. If you cannot have success, a success against a bad Chargers defense, I have my doubts if it's going to happen with this coaching staff. I have my doubts. What happened here is this. You dumped Kellen Moore. And you are probably right, too. He needed to be a little bit better. So you, you dumped the girl. It just, it just wasn't quite right right now. You know, maybe you wanted kids and she didn't. You weren't in the same spot in the relationship long term. She wanted to get married. You didn't want to get married. Okay, you know, it's, it's fine. It happens. But now you're dating somebody worse. She's a stage five clinger. It's not good. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I hope I can be wrong about this, to be clear, but this, this offensive scheme is not it. They have to make changes, or it's going to be more disappointment when the games really matter come January. 